Hey friends, welcome to The Smoke Report. I'm your host, Jay Todd, and get a load of this. Next week, while visiting the University of Michigan, U.S. Assistant Secretary of Health, Howard Koh, will be announcing a new White House-backed initiative to get smoking banned on all college campuses in the United States. You heard me. I can't make this crap up. No smoking on any college campus anywhere in the country. Doesn't matter. Outside, inside. Commons area, dorm room. Whether it's a state-run school or a privately held institution, how's that for a complete deterioration of freedoms? Not just personal freedoms, but the freedom of privately held universities to set their own policies and practices, just like bar and club owners who have been forced to ban smoking in their private businesses. Hey, while we're running around banning everything, why don't we just ban drinking on college campus too? After all, drinking destroys people's livers and leads to bad decisions. And if students weren't spending all their cash on beer and cigarettes, well, they'd have more money to drop on a $175 used textbook. Seriously, you nanny state dolts out there who want to stop someone from having a smoke under a tree 200 yards away from you and everybody else are the same fools who inhale all the poisons you get from the cars as they drive past while you're waiting to cross the street or for the number five bus to come along and you don't even realize the slippery slope you're creating by setting precedent by supporting your government legislating your personal choices and freedoms but that's okay because someday this monster you're creating right now will turn and then they're going to come after something that matters to you a cigar called Hamlet, the mild cigar. Welcome back to the Smoke Report. Get a load of this. The government of Australia recently won a court case a few months ago, which not only allows them to remove tobacco company logos from cigarette packaging, it also lets them show these sorts of graphic disgusting images on the packs in a last ditch effort to manipulate, shame, or perhaps just sicken the potential purchaser. Fast forward to this week. When Imperial Tobacco launched a new slogan aimed at getting past the labeling by saying, quote, it's what's on the inside that counts. Now, I will admit this is a bit ambiguous because it's designed to talk about what's inside the cigarette package. And with smoking, well, there's all kinds of things going on inside your body. So I get how people could think this was a bit poorly planned. But what pisses me off is the reaction of Australian Health Minister Tanya Plibersek after forcing these images onto cigarette packages. She said that the new slogan was a quote, sick joke. Seriously, the slogan is sick? A and this woman is really upset. I mean, look at her, I if you can, look at her. This is her, a picture taken because she's mad about the slogan. Yeah, so you tell me, which is really the sickest? This or this? Let's try again. This or this? 
Kind of hard to decide which is sicker looking. Oh wait, we have a winner. Tanya, you need to get over yourself. So you got played by a tobacco company. I'm not saying that the slogan was in the best of taste, but I will say that they made you look sort of stupid. But that's to be expected. After all, Tanya, you work for the government. If you were really smart, you'd have a job in the private sector. Sorry if I offended anyone. My friends, I'll see you all next time on The Smoke Report. You're supposed to be my friend. You're supposed to be